this roasted cauliflower recipe is so good. It's so delicious that I actually ate some of it before remembering to take this last video. It's easy to make, and let's get started, and I'll show you how to make it. Start off by heating your oven to 425 degrees. Use the largest and ickiest baking pan you have. It doesn't matter if the sides are just this high or higher, but um, you're going to be using oil. I just want you, I'm not even measuring it. I'm just, I just sprinkled some oil on here already, and then I use, instead of using a brush, I like to use a silicone or rubber spatula to get all of the oil into all of the corners. So that's what I'm doing here. Just getting it all the way in. And next, we are going to slice the cauliflower. First, you're going to cut off all of these green things or snap them off. And I'm not going to watch, make you watch me cut them all off. After you get as many of those leaf things off as you can, give the cauliflower a good rinse. Next, I'm going to cut off the stem. And even using a smaller knife, cutting out a little bit more. Now the thing is, we're going to cut these into steaks, not into florets. So we don't want to get too much of the stem out at this time. So now I'm going to lay it down and we want to keep all the little pieces that come off. We're going to cook those too, but any little leaf pieces, we're going to take those out. So you're going to cut them like so into, it's bigger than a quarter inch, but maybe not quite a, well, maybe it's a half inch. So you see how I'm slicing these into, you could call them steaks. And then, over time, you'll learn how you like these best, but I'm not going to keep them in these big pieces connected together. I'm going to cut them. And these centers, I don't really care for them that much, so I'm going to discard them. So pieces that look like this is fine. But if they're smaller, that's okay too. You just don't want them to be too thin, because if they're too thin, they won't cook up. Well, they'll cook too fast cook and get way too dark. So sometimes you can just break them apart with your fingers and sometimes you break them apart like this. And then as you do that, you can put them onto the baking pan. In fact, this one I think is a little too big, so I'm going to cut that in half. So I'm not going to make you watch me cut all these, but this is the idea of what I'm doing with the rest of these over here. And then we'll put them on the baking pan. I'll show you that next. Now that I have them on the cookie sheet, or on the baking sheet, and they, one side is getting oil, I'm going to flip over each piece so that I get oil on both sides before I put it in the oven. And then I have one more thing to do. It's not everything is on this tray yet. On the cutting board, I have lots of these little pieces, and I want to include these. The thing is, I've also got pieces of the leaves so I'm going to discard any little pieces of leaves. So, because we don't want to eat those. And what I'm left is these luscious pieces. So now, I'm going to show you what I do back on the baking sheet. So let me get back to the baking sheet here. And I'm going to pick up the cutting board and take the big knife and just scrape them on the cutting board. Don't miss these little pieces. The little pieces are really good. So now they're just kind of on here. It doesn't matter if they're touching or not the pan or if they're on top of other pieces. So now we're ready to put it into the oven. Put them into the middle rack of the oven and then I'm going to show you how long we're going to bake these. I'm going to set my timer for 45 minutes, but I want to check them halfway through. So I've got another timer that I'm going to set for 25 minutes. So this one up here has started the countdown to 25 minutes, and I'm going to flip every piece um, 
of cauliflower at the 25 minute mark and give the pan a shake too for those little pieces. So I'll show you how I do that in 25. Now that about 20 to 25 minutes has passed, I'm going to flip over all of these. You can use a fork, you can use a spatula, um, it's up to you. And you can see they're getting nice and brown. So um, I might only bake these another 15 to 20 minutes because I don't want to overdo them. Sometimes they shrink a little bit in the oven. And um, you can tell, remember when I put the oil on, I didn't have it swimming in oil. I think one time I put too much oil on and there was a lot of smoke in the oven. So you don't want to do that. Okay. And then for these little pieces that I put on here, you just want to use a pot holder and give the pan a shake. That'll loosen them up. Now we're going to put it in for, well, another 20 minutes, but maybe I'll only do 15 because they're cooking up pretty quickly. All right, these are done. I put some on a plate, and then I'm going to shake on some salt. And if you like pepper, include some pepper. I'm not real big on pepper on these. Now here's the other tip I want to give you about these. They're only good hot. They're not good lukewarm, and they're definitely not good cold. So, you know, if they get cool, put them back in the oven just to heat them up, because once they cool down, they just don't taste right. All right, but they're delicious. Um, I could eat a whole, a whole one of these, much less half. So let me know in the comment section how you like these roasted cauliflower.